This is TNN and today we are going to unbox and review the Easy SMX Bluetooth speaker. So this is the speaker, let's go ahead and unbox and review it in this video. So here is the box, let's go ahead and open it up. But first let's go through all around the box. So we've got pin show ring on top here, golden time, portable Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth, aux in, there's also IPX6 waterproof as well, which is pretty amazing. So it's sort of like a satchel design. It's got a handle on top as well. And it's by Pinshow. So we've got over here Pinshow, show the most authentic self. So Bluetooth 4.0 up to 10 meters. Listen to music wirelessly from your smartphone, iPhone or tablet. Auxiliary input for non-Bluetooth devices. The built-in battery is 2200 mAh which is a very big battery I have to say. Autonomy for the battery, music continuously playing time is six hours. And it's got a power AC adapter and charge your mobile phone with the USB output as well. So you can also charge your phone from these speakers. Now the total power output is two times five watts of speakers. So this is a 10 watt speaker, so that's absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and actually open the device up. Yeah, she got some pictures on the front over here of the device. And I have to say, it looks very interesting. So we've got it sealed up here. Let me go ahead and grab my unboxing knife. Yeah, I'm going to go and unbox this and we'll speed this up as well. So it comes with an instruction manual. As you can see, it's got the Pinshot logo. Pretty basic instruction manual of how to use the device. It's in Chinese and in English. So what else do we have? We have the actual handle bit for itself for the satchel design. Now this is a tanned color design handle. So it's sort of like an orangey tan color. We also have the buckles for the handle. We don't want to lose that. We also have the buckles for the handle. We then have an auxiliary cable. Now this seems like a pretty long auxiliary cable. Let me go in and take it apart. And yeah, I'll say it's about, about a meter. Yeah, I'll say about 1.5 meter long auxiliary cable, so pretty nice length. We also have the charging cable, which is a micro USB to USB cable. So it's USB, uh, micro USB cable. And then of course we have the actual speaker itself. So let's go and take this out. Peel this off, take the rubbish out of the way. This is the actual speaker itself, and I've said it's got quite a lot of weight to it. It's aluminium all around, very nice design. So we peel off the bottom over here, we've got a sticker all on the bottom of here. We've got a glossy black finish plastic design, of course. We've got the pin show logo and some information about the device over here. And we've also got rubber grips on the bottom as well. So these are very nice rubber grips as you can see look i'm trying to i'm doing pushing quite a bit of weight to it and it's not moving the slightest bit so very nice high quality we then have the usb output of course which is to charge your device so you can charge your iphone your ipad or your tablet any any device that has a usb charging cable you can go ahead and charge your device we also got the auxiliary cable so if you don't have bluetooth on your device so you don't want to use bluetooth you can always go ahead and plug in your auxiliary cable and just listen to music like that and then we also got the micro usb cable as well that is obviously to charge this device so the micro usb cable will charge this device and then we got two grooves over here so you can attach a handle part which we will do in just a sec again we've got pin show all around here metal design pin show again with this grill actually feels really, really nice it's a very smooth gold metal design Say like a champagne gold design looks absolutely amazing and high quality. 
Now I'm pretty sure this rubber should lift up. Okay, so we got nothing inside of here. It's just a design purpose. Just go to pull that back on. Let me peel this side. So yep, this is just design purpose. You peel this off if you want to open up the actual metal casing of the Bluetooth device. But to be honest, I wouldn't advise any of you guys to do that because you don't really want to mess around with the insides because you can actually fold it and that would void any warranty as well. On the top over here, we have the charging colors over here. So as you can see, it indicates on the top over here, charging cable, one, two, three. We got Bluetooth light over here, the Bluetooth LED indicator, we got the AUX LED indicator. We have the mode button, go ahead and click this to switch through Bluetooth and AUX. We got the play and pause button, we got the previous button, volume down, volume up, next button, and also the power button, which is slightly different uh, design to the others. So all the other buttons are plastic and gloss finished. The power button is actually metal with like a chrome engraved engraved finish on top as well so you can definitely feel it's different we've got this whole wood design on the top here so it's sort of like a classic classic 70s 80s sort of design that this company have gone for and i have to say i really like it it looks very retro and very nice and then we've got that chrome finish all around as well so i'm going to go ahead and set all this up we're going to use this for a little while and we'll come back with a review video Right guys, so that is the Bluetooth speaker and I have to say it is very nice. Now I've used it for a few hours now and I have to say it is absolutely amazing. I actually absolutely absolutely love it. So it's so easy to connect to Bluetooth. As soon as you turn it on, you can go ahead and select the mode and once it goes to Bluetooth mode, you will see that there is a blue flashing light. Now it will flush faster when it's looking to pair. Then you simply go on settings, go ahead and go on Bluetooth on your device and simply just connect to BX200 over here and then that's it, it's connected and you can start listening to music. Right, so once you're connected on Bluetooth to your phone like that, you simply go ahead and go on to your music. So we were just playing music through Bluetooth right now and I have to say the bass on this is absolutely amazing, the bass, the treble, the sound quality absolutely amazing on this device now let me go ahead and play try and play a non-copyright song because i don't want any trouble with youtube so let me go ahead and find a non-copyright song on my phone and you can see just from sound so let me put it on max volume now i don't know if you can still hear me but we got the volume button on the top here which we can control and it becomes a constant on button when you're playing music, the Bluetooth light. So we are on music mode right now. And we can pause the song or play it again. So I'm going to put the volume down so that you guys can hear me. So we got a speaker on the front over here and we got a speaker on the back of it. So that's two 5 watt speakers. So then it's also directional speakers as well. So anyone sitting in front of this side will hear this song. Anyone sitting this side will also hear the music as well. And I also attached the tanned handle on top here. And I have to say it's very, very comfortable as well. Quite nice. It's actually, I'm not too sure if it's real leather or not, but it feels like real leather. It's absolutely nice, really high quality. Got quite a grip to it as well. Now to attach that on you simply just pop in the screw that it comes with and then another adapter which comes with you just tighten it on like so it's quite easy to attach on and of course if you don't want to attach it on you don't have to attach it on you can always take it off but i feel it gives it that retro look and it just looks nice now if your device does not have bluetooth no worries you have an aux cable so let's go ahead and put it onto aux mode now so Simply plug it in into the 3.5mm headphone jack over here. Then you want to go ahead and click on mode. 
and then you can see over here that aux mode turns into green now with this you can plug the aux cable into your phone so I have to take my case off actually because it doesn't fit into my phone but like that you can even hear it go in and you can play music from the aux now so I'm actually playing it from aux cable now and sound quality is exactly the same it's just that it's not wireless connection no more you're now using a wired connection to listen to music So as you can hear, sound quality is really, really crisp. It even picks up the background noises as well. So any background sound in the music really, really picks it up, makes it stand out, makes it sound very nice and crisp, and also gives it that 3D feel as well. Now, it claims to work up to 10 meters of range on Bluetooth. We're gonna go ahead and test that right now. So let's go ahead and connect through Bluetooth. Now I'm gonna walk away from the device and we'll see how long, it la how long the connection will work for. So I'm gonna play the music now. So I'm actually back and I could say I could hear it and it did start it to stop at around 10 meters. So I wouldn't say it works exactly up to 10 meters, but at just about that time it starts to stick. But I'm inside a house as well, so obviously the connection does get interrupted. Now, this isn't just a Bluetooth speaker. No, this device is also something else. Very, very amazing device. It can actually charge your phone, so it does have a USB output over here. Go ahead and plug that in to your device, into the speaker, and then you can plug that micro USB cable that comes provided into your phone, or you can also charge your Apple phone. So there you go, I am charging my phone, and the inside battery inside of here is 2200 mAh. So I can charge my phone through this, or I can charge my, you know, not just an Android phone, you can charge an iPhone, you can charge an iPod, iPad, anything you want that has a USB port. But this same cable that comes provided charges my phone and it also charges the speakers as well. So on the top over here, we've got the charging indicators. Right now it is fully charged as you can see. Actually each percent means, means um, about 25% I would say. So it's not charged fully, but it's halfway there. So right now, so if I start charging it, the lights will start flashing and it will charge the device. Now I have to say I really really like these speakers and I think overall score I'd give them 10 out of 10. I mean they're such such great speakers. I mean you really really can't regret purchasing one of these. They're absolutely amazing. So link to buy will be down below in the description and as always don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.